Alright. I know I have to make another one of these videos again, but it's pretty much another I'm Back video. So let's get into it. Like I said, gotta make another one of these videos again, unfortunately. But I took a little bit of a break the last time I made a video was about five months ago. I was looking at it and the reason being is this summer, the whole like like fishing this summer, it was really, really hard to, to film videos and everything like that. And to be honest, I was just spending a lot of time with my girlfriend who is now away at school. Um, I was spending time with friends, fishing, of course. And a lot of my fishing that I did was at night because I worked pretty much like a lot of the week during the day. So a lot of the fishing I had to do was at night. And yeah, so I couldn't really, uh, I couldn't really film that much because I don't really have the setup for it necessarily to be able to record at night. So again, with that being said, I'm gonna talk to you guys pretty much one-on-one -on -one, uh, what to expect now that I feel like this is more or less full time again. So let's get into that. Okay, so like I said, that this is going to be more or less full time. Um, I'm at school, as you can probably tell, maybe by the background, it's not the, not the, uh, not the room at home, but my second year of school and Honestly, I feel like I got the hang of it now. Last year, like I told you guys the last time that I didn't record, I was really just getting the, the hang of school and college and everything like that. But now that I'm in my second year, I really feel like I've got the hang of it and I know how to balance fun, work, schoolwork, fishing, everything like that. And I think it's now my time to be able to dive back into these videos because like I said, now I know how to control myself a little bit more rather than just straying away from school or straying away from fishing or straying away from fun, from fun, I don't know what's going on, and be involved with everything at the same time while balancing schoolwork, if you know what I mean. So like I said, what are you going to expect? So now that I'm down here, I'm in Fort Lauderdale, the area of Fort Lauderdale, um, I'm going to be really trying to get into peacock bass fishing. So where I live, or I guess I live now in one of the best places, or the best place, in America to catch peacock bass and to be honest I know nothing about catching peacock bass so the goal for me now is to obtain more knowledge in that type of fishing than I did before in smoke fishing and offshore fishing which I don't think that I'll be able to obtain as much knowledge freshwater than I have saltwater because I've been doing it my whole life but that's what I like, expect for you guys to see maybe some hunting videos here and there um, I just kind of like hanging out, like vlogs. I got a new truck, no more of the Mazda, so that's, that's something that happened. Um, what else? What else can I tell you guys that has happened since I, I spoke to you? Um, my biggest snug I caught this summer was 39 inches. It was a nice one. There's a nice snug caught them under a dock light on a little shrimp, on a little TOA shrimp, which is crazy. Um, didn't do any bass fishing over the summer, or little bass fishing, minimal bass fishing, because summertime fishing is pretty much just salt water for me um caught a lot of tarpon this summer some big jacks pretty much just everything sailfish dolphin you know the whole nine yards of um saltwater fishing but that's not what we're talking about right now we're talking about the future and what the future holds and i think that's more or less freshwater fishing for peacock bass and bass and a day in the life thing with me here being in college but when i go back home it'll be back to the salt water and everything like that. And now that it's turning in to be a little bit colder, those of you guys who like to watch fresh water more, it'll be pretty much all bass because snook turn off, everything salt water pretty much turns off. Not really the offshore bite for sailfish, but my boat doesn't really have a, I don't really have a boat nice enough to go out and do that. So to end up this video, I don't really want to end it off on a sad note, but I kind of do. Um, the fishing community, especially the Stewart community, and if you're an offshore fisherman, uh, we lost a very big um, presence in the community, a great guy, Pat Price of Daymaker Charters. If you're from Stewart, they know who it is, or who he is. He's a good friend of mine, um, fished a good amount. You know, every time I'd go out in the morning, i always see him, we'd always talk, we'd text, everything like that, go around town, see him, nice guy, had a family, uh, and it's just, it's just really sad. So I hope you guys keep his family in your heart and your prayers and everything because he lost a good a good person a father husband fisherman he left a lot of knowledge behind to the uh to our generation uh taught me a lot 
and I'm sure he taught everybody who he learned to fish with a lot. So we're gonna move away from the sad part and we're gonna get in to the last thing that I really wanna talk about and that is I wanna hear what you guys wanna see because for me, more or less, it's like I can go and make these videos but I don't know what you guys really like. It's like I could see like how many views I get, blah, blah, blah. I really like talking to the camera but I really like fishing more. You know what I mean? So let me know what you guys want to see. And yeah, so tomorrow morning, I'm going to be going peacock bass fishing or attempting to go peacock bass fishing. Um, went on Google Maps, found a few spots that I think will work out. I've been watching YouTube videos and everything. Um, got the right tackle that I can get from my house that can kind of resemble, you know, something they use for peacock bass, but I don't know. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. This is a full-time thing now, 100%. We're not like a full-time thing, but like, you know, 95% thing that I'll be doing this. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you soon.